Hi, this is a beginner's tutorial of how to add content onto Listbox. So let me show you an example of how this works. So I'm going to enter as follows the integer. There we go. Supposing we want to add string there. And as you can see, we can add as many items as we want right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Develop Development Environment and we'll put all of this together. Let's do that now guys. Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial for Absolute Beginner. So I'm going to click on Create New Project. Once the new project dialog box is ready, select Visual Basic. And you then select Windows Forms Application. Today's project is going to be based on using a list box. So I'm going to call that VB list box. Now on this list box, we're just going to use that to add some data into it and then display it. So we're going to need the following components. Let's select button. We then need a list box and we also need a text box. So grab the three items, just rearrange them the way you want. And let's add my label right. And this label will be here. So in that label, we just say enter a data there. And the text box and the button will be add data. There we go. That's all there is to it. So all we then need to do now is to double click on this button and enter as follows. List box one, that is the name of our list box dot items and dot add. So those are the method I intend to use. And what are we adding? Whatever we have on the text box dot text there so if I run this single line of code now we can enter as many data as we want this is a list box click and we can keep adding the same this is a list box supposing we want to add a different item I want this to go instead of me having to delete so we can always come in here copy that paste it there and say it was clear so when you click on that very button whatever item we have on the list box is added sorry whatever item we have on the text box is added onto the list box and the text box is automatically cleared the event we're using for this very tutorial is known as click event and that's the name of the button I haven't make any changes to any of the object so if I run it now and enter in here enter an item Okay, click on that you see that that is gone okay so let's enhance it so that you guys can see the whole project select it all come to the properties let's increase the font size and I am going to make that 16 there we go and let's try it out now So we can enter as many items as we want. So today is list box tutorial. And add that there. Okay. As you notice, when I said today is list box tutorial, there wasn't enough room. If you want you can always make sure there's enough room on that very text box and how do you go about that you can just come in here click on the text box click and 
and select multi-line or maybe we might as well just extend it all just in case if we have more than one single line so we run it again and see how it's going to look like So let's enter this is a list box tutorial add that and let's enter another item the next tutorial is a for loop using string builder there and that is how you create your own list box so with that I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy bye for now